Hi, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a transition like this one. So to get started, I've already imported the two pictures that I'm going to use. You could also use videos and right now I'm gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna call it just one like that. It's gonna be using the HDTV 1080 preset at 29.97 frames per second and I'm gonna set the duration to five seconds. So right now I'm gonna select it inside of the project panel and I'm gonna duplicate it twice so that I have a composition called one, two and three and I'm gonna rename the third one to main and then I'm gonna open the second one and also the main composition. So right now I'm just simply gonna put the first picture inside of the composition which is called number one and this is essentially pre-composing these images. I'm doing that because they're a lot bigger than my composition size. So I'm gonna pre-compose the second one and after doing that I'm going to close both of these compositions as I'm not gonna be adjusting anything inside of them. So right now I'm gonna select both of them right here in the project panel and I'm gonna drop them into the main composition and right now these two images are essentially pre-composed. So I'm gonna put the playhead in the middle which is at 2 seconds and 15 frames and right now I'm gonna make the first composition end right here. So I'm gonna press alt and right bracket and I'm gonna trim it to the exact frame and I'm gonna make the second composition start here by pressing alt and left bracket. So right now we have a simple transition which looks like this. The next step is going to be setting the playhead right here, selecting both of these and pressing R which is going to bring up the rotation property and I'm going to create a keyframe for both of these. So right now I'm going to press shift and page up to move them frames forwards and then page up one, two, three, four, five more times. So this right now is a total of 15 frames in between these two keyframes. Right now I'm gonna press shift and page down three times and that moved me 30 frames forwards. So the gap right here is also gonna be 15 frames. So right now I'm gonna take the first set of keyframes. So I'm gonna set the value of the second keyframe right here to negative 20 degrees and I'm gonna set the value of the first keyframe right here to 20 degrees. So what we've done so far is this. The next step right here would be adjusting the anchor point. So make sure that your playhead is outside of the two sets of keyframes and right now I'm gonna select the first pre-comp and I'm gonna select the pan behind tool. Right now you're gonna grab this anchor point and you're gonna move it to either one of these edges. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna move it to this edge right here, press control and then it's gonna simply snap. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this second one right here. And this is what we have so far. So the next step is gonna be selecting all of these keyframes and then hitting F9 to easy ease them and right now, we're going to overlap them by 10 frames. So I'm going to move the first set of keyframes 5 frames forwards and I'm going to move the second set of keyframes 5 frames backwards. And right now they're overlapping by 10 frames. Now I'm going to select both of these sets of keyframes and I'm going to open the graph editor. So to see the same thing that I'm looking at, right click and make sure that you're editing the speed graph. So this first curve right here is the first set of keyframes and the second one is the second set of keyframes. So what we are going to do right now is we're going to make them peak at the same time in the middle. So I'm gonna drag this handle to the left and press control while you're doing it. I'm gonna do the same thing with the first keyframe. Then I'm gonna select this one right here and I'm gonna drag this handle to the right and I'm gonna drag this handle right here to the left until they pretty much match. Now you wanna play with these two until 
the animation peaks at the same time, which is gonna look something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. So right now, if I preview this, you can see the way it looks. The next step is gonna be enabling motion blur for both of these and turning it on. And this is how it looks right now. And the final step would be solving the obvious problem, which are these black edges. So to fix them, we're gonna be using an effect which is called Repetile. I'm gonna apply it to the first pre-comp. And it's important that you set the tiling to unfold because that usually works best. So right now I'm gonna expand this downwards and also to the right. Then with the second pre-comp, I'm gonna need to be expanding to upwards like that and also to the left. So this is what we have right now. And just to demonstrate that this will work with any corner, right now I'm gonna select the pan behind tool and we're gonna move this, let's say up here. So this is an edge. Let's do the same thing right here. Let's move it to the edge. And if I preview this, you can see that it still works. We need to fix the black edges again and as you can see, we're gonna have ourselves a pretty nice transition. So as you can see, this transition is gonna work perfectly with any edge or any corner. It's up to you to select which one you want to use. You just have to move the anchor point. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.